This is a flood watch. This has just been issued by the National Weather Service. And the reason for this, we're going to get heavy rain. And I mean heavy rain. Let's show you the radar right now, Ben and Julia. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to walk you through this. First of all, this is the uh, tail end of this storm where there are severe thunderstorm warnings and watches, Texas, Arkansas. Now, as far as we're concerned, here's where we are with a few sprinkles. What I've done is aimed the uh, radar site a little bit lower, so we're looking now for at least a, a few sprinkles out there, and that's what we're getting. But boy, does it get nasty coming into Terre Haute. This is very heavy rain coming into Clay City. Brazil, Terre Haute, and look at the lightning now. We're talking about hundreds and hundreds of lightning strikes from Terre Haute all the way through Effingham into St. Louis. This is one of those I-70 storms, and you know what that means, don't you? Train of rain moving through. Right now, we're still dry in Indianapolis. If you're getting ready to head out the door, 66 winds out of the south-southwest at 14. This is now a wet pattern that's going to begin. Remember, I told you yesterday, if you can mow your yard, if you have a yard, do it because uh, it's going to be a, you're going to be unable to do that, really, I think, through much of the weekend, including today and Good Friday. Here we go this morning. I'm going to walk you through the next uh, couple of days. Look at the chances for rain. Our temperature is basically holding steady. We're in the 60s now, which is awesome. We ain't moving much, maybe, to, to 67 by 5 p.m. this afternoon. Then as we go through the day, those winds are really going to increase as a cold front, which is still well off to our west, gets closer. Take a look at this. This is 11 o'clock today. I'm going to be doing the noon show today, and we'll be talking a lot about wind. 31 to 35 mile per hour gusts at lunchtime as this rain takes over. Good Friday is tomorrow, Passover as well, and as we move into Passover tomorrow night, the rain actually starts to, to cut off, and I think that we're going to have some pretty decent weather. But it's going to take a long time for that to happen because here we are this morning at 10 o'clock. Watch as this rain starts to move to the east. This is 5 o'clock. This is the evening rush hour with widespread showers. Remember, the front is still hundreds of miles away. So this is surging ahead of a cold front. And I think it's really easy for us to pick up an inch to maybe in some isolated spots, three inches of rain the next couple of days. So this is tonight at 930. Again, this warm, moist air surging ahead of the front. Now, as the front moves through tomorrow on Good Friday, notice the rain. This is all day long tomorrow, all day long. As we move into the noon hour, we'll see a couple of breaks, but it comes back again. Cold front starts to move through. Now we're on the back side of this low, and unfortunately, Ben and Julia, it's kicking back for Saturday. It's out of here by Easter Sunday, 67 today, a cold 50 tomorrow. Saturday, 60 and wet, dry on Easter Sunday in 74. Much more on the flood watch in a few minutes.